So we're gonna do a mobility warm-up. You can do this warm-up additionally to your normal warm-up and it will help to increase the mobility of your joints. So we're working on our ankles, on our hips and on our thoracic spine. And through this better range of motion, you will have a better quality movement when doing sports or when working out. So first thing we start with is the ankle, the mobility of the ankle. So you, you, put your, you place your foot close to a wall and then you try to lean as much forward until your knee almost touches the wall. And you repeat that 10 to 12 times. Make sure that you keep your torso in an upright position, that you're working with your abdominals. So you gotta play a little to have the right distance because like that it's easy. So I'm moving a little backwards that I can barely touch the wall. And I always focus on keeping the heel on the floor. I change to the other side. Keep your torso in an upright position. Remember that. So next thing, you can take a chair, well, I've got a bench here, so I place my foot here on the bench and I'm leaning forward again. Make sure your heel keeps contact here all the time and bend as far forward as you can. Brace your abs again and keep your torso in an upright position. It also helps if you, if you squeeze your gluteus a little because then you don't generate that much movement out of your lower spine but you get it more out of the hip on this side. And repeat 10 to 12 times. And change sides. So next one is for the hip, so we're going into a launch position again and then <clears throat> I'm going forward, also I work with my abdominals that I get more extension out of my hip and I'm trying to move my boobies towards the, the floor. It also helps you to squeeze, to squeeze your, your gluteus. Repeat 10 to 12 times. If it hurts your knee on this side, you can also put a pillow under your knee. It shouldn't hurt your knee, the knee you're kneeling on. So then we change to the other side. So next thing for the hip is side launches. So I go to the side, I go down, come up again, go to the other side, try also try to keep my torso upright, working with my abdominals. You 
You want to work with your abdominals that you don't generate the movement out of your lower spine, but really work with your hips, with the mobility of your hips. So last one for the hip, I try that my, or I focus that my pelvis is pointing forward and I'm rotating outwards and I'm rotating outwards, placing my foot here again, whoops, <laughs> stability work as well, for your balance. <laughs> So the next thing is the thoracic spine, so you can use a rolled trim mat or you can use a towel as well. Um, we place it underneath the thoracic spine and then you're bracing your abs and you're leaning backwards. And make sure that you're bracing your abs, that you don't have too much movement in your lower spine, but really generate the movement out of the thoracic spine and also make sure that the distance between your chin and the chest bone remains short, so you're not bending your neck too much. And you repeat that 10 times. It helps if you breathe out when you're bending backwards and breathe in when coming up again. You can change the position a little and don't forget to brace your abs, lean back. Good. Now the last warm-up is for the rotational mobility of your thoracic spine. So you take the trim mat, you place your knee here on the trim mat, it's in a 90 degree angle in your hip joint and then you keep contact with your knee here on the mat and with the opposite arm you bend backwards. It helps if you look where your arm goes. And even when you go back, 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 always keep contact actively with your knee. And repeat 10 to 12 times. So again, it helps if you're breathing out when bending backwards. And then breathe in, coming up again. And then we change to the other side. So 90 degree angle, keep contact with your knee. And look where your arm is going. That was it, hope you like it and have fun.